are eleven dimensions possible? If so, what are the eleven dimensions? Get the answer to these questions in this episode of Q and A. friends welcome to yet another episode of q and a and today i will be going to break down all the dimensions out there for you today in this video i am going to explain about each dimension and what all things that dimensional being could do and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel subscribe right now all you have to do to subscribe is click on that red subscribe button and bell icon show your support by helping this channel reach its first 1000 subscribers okay so let's get into the video most of you have probably heard about dimensions and know about the three dimensions but today i will be going to reveal something that is going to blow your minds off string theory suggests that the multiverse operates in 11 dimensions first comes the zero dimension Zero dimension or nil dimensional space is basically a point. A point that you plot on a paper with a very sharp pencil is zero dimensional. It doesn't have any mathematical point. Second, first dimension. It represents a straight line and has two mathematical points. A first dimensional being will be classed as a liner and all the other dimensions above will seem very weird to him. Third, second dimension. It represents a flat surface and has four mathematical points. A second dimensional being will be classed as a flat lander and neither first or second dimensional beings will have internal organs. Fourth, third dimension. It represents anything with volume and has eight mathematical points. The universe that we perceive is based on the third dimension. We are classed as third dimensional beings and anything that we do is a third dimensional trait. fifth fourth dimension from here on things get complicated the fourth dimension has 16 mathematical points and represents space and time itself a fourth dimensional being will be able to time travel and age anything at will he will be able to observe all of time from the big bang to now all in one go a fourth dimensional cube is known as a tesseract Sixth, fifth dimension. It represents all the parallel universes and has 32 mathematical points. A fifth dimensional being would be able to observe every single parallel universe all at once. Seventh, sixth dimension. It represents time and space of all the parallel universes and has 64 mathematical points. A sixth dimensional being could travel to all the parallel universes and time travel in all of those universes eighth seventh dimension it represents all the universes that is multiverse and has 128 mathematical points a seventh dimensional being would be able to observe all the multiverse at once ninth eighth dimension it represents time and space of all the multiverse and has 256 mathematical points A eight-dimensional being would be able to travel to all the universes and time travel in all those universes. Tenth, ninth dimension. It represents the entire history of the multiverse and has 512 mathematical points. A nine-dimensional being would be able to observe all the history and possible outcomes of the multiverse all at once. He will be able to manipulate all the outcomes and physical laws of the multiverse. all at once 11th 10th dimension it represents everything and has 1024 mathematical points a 10th dimensional being would be able to do everything and be everything at will 
he will be able to always exist and be everywhere all at once he will be infinite in time and existence 12th 11th dimension it represents above everything and has 2048 mathematical points we can't perceive what a 11th dimensional being could do a 11th dimensional being could be classed as a god as we can't perceive what a possible god could do please note that these are all just theories and may not be necessarily true don't forget to share and until the next video goodbye